Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. From the early 1890s, there were a series of attempts by British, French and German military officers to claim parts of what is today Burkina Faso. The colonialists fought the local people sometimes, at other times they forged alliances with them and made treaties. Through a complex series of events, the French eventually emerged as the colonial masters and in 1896, what is today Burkina Faso eventually became a French protectorate. Samori Touré, who was a powerful local ruler and founder of the Wasulu Empire, strongly resisted the French occupation and fought against them. But he was defeated and by 1898, the majority of the territory corresponding to Burkina Faso was nominally conquered. The area was then named French Upper Volta. In anticipation of the transition to self-rule, a political party the Voltaic Democratic Union UDV, was established in 1957. It was the Voltaic section of the African Democratic Rally RDA, which was a coalition of anti-colonial political parties across French West Africa. The RDA was the largest political party in colonial Africa while it lasted. Internal strife in the UDV resulted in a split and the aggrieved party formed a different party called the National Union of Independence UNI. Also in 1958, another party, the African Regroupment Party BRA, was formed. On the 11th of December 1958, Upper Volta became a self-governing colony within the French community. When it gained full independence in 1960, the leader of the UDV, Maurice Yamilgo, was elected as the first president. Having assumed power, Yamilgo banned all political parties other than the UDV. The government lasted for six years before it was toppled by the military in 1966 after a period of unrest and mass demonstrations. The army remained in power for four years with Lieutenant Colonel Sanguli Lamizana as head of the military government. In 1970, a four-year transition plan to civilian rule began. Lamizana, while still the head of state, allowed civilians to be part of the government. Elections were held in 1978 and Lamizana was elected under the UDV platform. But soon after, some dissatisfied members of the party left to form the Voltaic Progressive Front, led by Joseph K. Zerbo. The National Union of Independence UNI, and the African Regroupment Party PRA, merged with the Voltaic Progressive Front as well because they lost their status as political parties following the elections since the 1977 constitution limited the number of political parties to three. The Voltaic Progressive Front formed a strong opposition to the ruling UDV party. However, the party was banned in November 1980, along with other political parties, when the military again ousted the democratically elected government. Two other coups followed that brought in the iconic Thomas Sankara as president in 1983. He renamed Upper Volta Burkina Faso in 1984. As Sankara was killed in a bloody coup in 1987 and Captain Blaise Kampare came to power, he along with two others formed a body called the Popular Front FP as the ruling group. As part of a much talked about political opening process, many political organizations were allowed under an umbrella of political organization which was created in June 1989 by the FP. In 1991, Kampari was re-elected without opposition. In 1996, the Congress for Democracy and Progress CDP, was formed as a merger with the Organization for Popular Democracy Labour Movement, which was founded in 1989, and nine other political parties. The CDP remained the ruling party until Kampari was forced to resign in 2014. 
When elections were held in 2015, the CDP was barred from presenting a presidential candidate, though it was allowed to field candidates in the parliamentary elections. The candidate of the People's Movement for Progress, MPP, Rockmark Christian Kabore, won the presidential elections. The MPP was formed in 2014 by Kabore, who was himself formerly a member of the CDP. The MPP became the ruling party in Burkina Faso. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.